and welcome to This Is. Today we're going to build a laptop. We are? No. Oh. So one of our more more popular videos on the channel is we built a little laptop. It was great. It was a, more so a Surface kind of like yeah. you know, tablet kind of thing. But it was neat because you could put the battery in. You could actually like plug some components in. Clearly a little bit more meant for kids and people who have never had any experience building a computer. But Matt, are we about to bust out the new framework? No, because we don't have that kind of budget on this is. Instead, I got us uh, what I think might be one of the coolest things for kids. Oh, it's a Raspberry Pi laptop. So this is the advanced kit. What I makes got it advanced? It. Uh, we'll find out. Can I open this up? I mean, yes. I know there's a lot of information on the back, but why don't we just explore it? Yeah, well, let's team? just go, let's go into this. Okay. So this very, you, I did wow. not repackage it at this all. This looks like it's completely brand new and never touched. There's a Super Nintendo controller in here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not one, but dose. Wait, okay, so this is clearly meant for kids. You teach little Timmy how to build his computer and then he can build a world of Minecraft. This checks out. It's offensive that you say that this is specifically for kids when it comes with these very adult Minecraft building blocks. So, um, do you want gold or what do you want? I think we need glue for this, but, um, No, you just fold it, Matt. You just fold it. It definitely wants you to glue tabs. Why would you glue tabs when you can just fold it? Minecraft blocks. I got a block of gold. So we've got the crow pot. Oh, wow. That's, that's a chungus. If is I've that, seen one. is, is that a bowl of Campbell's soup? Because that is chunky. So there's a lot here. So we've actually got a USB mouse with the dongle inside, a ton of little gadgets. So it looks like a little controller, EQ volume, and some extra little boards. Also, hands-on Python programming guide for beginners. Uh, okay. So we have a little micro SD card, a 32 gig micro SD card that says game on it. There's also a micro SD to USB reader. So if you actually need to go and burn your SD cards, we've got all kinds of GPIO, yeah, transistor. transistors. Oh, it's in a Pi 4 too. Yes. Wow, okay. So this means that we've got dual micro HDMI. Mm -hmm. You've got yourself audio, you got USB C in for power. You got USB 3.0 and Ethernet. Gigabit. Shove it, Apple. Where's your Ethernet and your six inch thick Crow Pie laptop? We've also got the system OS, which is I'm gonna guess already in here. Yeah. Oh, 128 gig micro SD. Damn, this is, uh, this is legit. The Raspberry Pi takes a USB-C power adapter, but this is a barrel plug. So does the laptop actually have a battery? Uh, no. It's so thick, why do they not put a battery in it? I mean, why is there not a battery in me? It'd be cool if like there's a battery that was in here that could go in the tray and go no. in the back there. One of the things I'm like, oh, you know, it'd be cool is I was I want to like put the, the uh, Raspberry Pi in there and uh -huh. kind of surprise you. Doesn't nope, fit. doesn't fit. Yeah. So then I'm like, you know what? It comes with, uh, uh, no. nope, doesn't fit. Well, it comes with a mouse. Nope, doesn't fit. Why don't we try to actually build this thing and get it up and running? So uh, we've got ourselves a webcam. We've got ourselves a probably like 11 inch screen or so. Um, there's a headphone jack on the side. We've got ah, USB. Take that Apple. Why is it got micro USB? I am actually not sure what that port is for. The problem is, is that the actual Raspberry Pi has tons of ports on it. So what's the point of that? We've volume. Oh, you know what? The Pi comes in here and then the port surface on this side, right? Yes. Wait, if the Pi lives in here, you're gonna have to route all your cables and HDMI and everything out and inside the laptop, huh? Well, maybe we should pop it open and find out. Well, I mean, there's obviously a dimple here, so I'm just assuming that it does this. Uh, go ahead. You were wrong. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is why I thought this thing was really cool. Yeah, So yeah. it has the full project board already integrated. Everything is already wired up. You have a little breadboard on mm -hmm. the side here. You got your GPIOs. All of your like learning things that you'd want to do. Here's your RFID reader. Yeah. All these little projects that you'd want to do are just integrated into the board. You got so, a joystick in here. Yeah. Why do you need a joystick? That's wild. Well, like learning how to program all these things, a big challenge for someone who's brand new at this keep in mind this is for kids is first the level of learning how to code but then also like it can be daunting just to try and hook up the system of course yeah it just takes one barrier like one like barrier of entry out which yeah. i think is really really nice this is a almost ridiculous amount of bits and pieces so i'm guessing then that you just pop there that out go. 
So that is the backside. So basically you line up the GPIO here, then there's a fan that's directly over the actual cooler and you got yourself a little daughter board for the USB, you know, the micro HDMI and USB-C and whatnot. So basically you just drop this into place really, right? So we've got ourselves USB-C, which I will line up here, which I believe, yeah, it's just power. Yeah. And then I've got micro HDMI. I think that's good. I'm just gonna just put the. If that's cover really on. it, I'm actually like annoyed. Wait, let's plug this thing in and actually see if it fires up. Oh, I'm probably just put my keyboard back on. That seems helpful. Wait, so how does that actually connect? It's a Bluetooth. This is Bluetooth. Oh. I will say it is the worst trackpad I have ever used. So the only thing I have to say about this, which is probably not great right off the bat. This is not a super intuitive design, right? The fact that the keyboard, which looks like it's all part of the actual system, has its own on off switch and whatnot. There's definitely some things that if this is it, the kids trying to play with this as a laptop, this is not the way normal laptops work in a lot of ways, which is obviously you're yeah. trying to learn, yeah. right? But there's certainly some things where I'm like, if I was giving this to a kid as their first laptop, then I give them a real laptop later, they're gonna be like, what? They're, they're not gonna understand a lot of stuff. Oh, it just is booting up immediately. Oh, there we go. Ready, ready. Yep. And, uh, blink. So it's got an OS skin on it. The game version that it comes with, uh, the game SD is just RetroPie. Um, oh, so neat. if you want to have like an emulator system, it comes with that. All right, I'm gonna open up the Chromium web browser. Who cares about all this extra skin stuff? I'm gonna watch this is video. Well, I don't know why you would do that, but like, Oh, that speaker is not good. Also, holy balls, this thing is slow. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 and it's this slow? Yeah. This, this, is not, this is not how slow a Raspberry Pi 4 should be. There is a lot of bloat on yeah. this thing. There's no real speaker. It's the little bored PZO speakers. There's also like nine different coding apps on here. Write your code here. Hello, Hello world. world. It, oh, it, it just turned off. So here's the thing. Um, I have a feeling you're not gonna do any of these because you actually have to like program it. Ugh. Yeah. Like as in write lines of code? Yes, that's the whole point of this thing. I would not use this again. I would just reinstall yes. something. Cause like if you're gonna use this as like something to learn, you wanna actually use all like the, the games and all the things to, you know, learn how to code and whatnot, then I guess. The skin on here bogs this down Terrible. immensely. Yeah. Why do you have Xbox Cloud Gaming loaded up on this map? I tried it. And it was a terrible experience, right? <laughs> it, it was, in fact, a terrible okay, experience. Okay, cool. We're not going to try that anymore on camera. I love how generic these SNES controllers are. This is, uh, I would say, uh, bordering on unusable because I can't type on it. After about 30 minutes of this thing, I want to throw it through the window. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, Matt, I'm getting a little worried here. So this is like a cool idea, but the execution seems like it is half-baked. Now, you could buy this and use it just for the hardware. And of course, flash whatever OS or really whatever clean version of Raspbian you wanted on here. I personally like this better than just a regular, like yeah. everything, like a breadboard out, you, you route everything that way. I think it's just neater, like, cleaner yeah so like if you want to learn how to do some programming for these type of thing i think it's great one of the things i was interested for it is if this is a good uh little mobile retro gaming system obviously you have uh retro pie that you can put on here but it comes with like a controller yeah. like this is a good portable little emulator Matt, do we need to switch over to the sd card or are you just going to tell me that it sucks and we can move on it's up to you. Be straight with us. How bad is it? It's loud. While I was using this, I just definitely unplugged it. If you want to use this just for the hardware, I might be able to get around it. I don't think it makes sense but to- But! What, what, what's the but? How much do you think this costs? Raspberry Pi 4. Mm -hmm. uh, 50 Which, bucks. They are a little marked up right now because they're harder to get, yeah, but, yeah, right they're, now, they're but they're coming down. This whole uh, board, honestly, probably at least another $50. Screen, all the bits, you got the advanced kit. I'm gonna say it's probably three hundred dollars. I paid about five hundred and fifty dollars for this. This is outrageous. I mean, I no, I have nothing good to say about this. There was a couple like cheaper versions, but they're gonna come with less stuff, which is almost right. the only reason why you would even consider this. Surely look, we're done now. Look, we built a laptop is definitely uh, clickbait. I know that. As soon as we do this video, people are going to... They did it with our last video. They're going to do it here. Why not, why, why not the framework? Do you, like... Actually, I think a framework is a better idea. We well, the framework is a better idea. But, like, is it... Is, are these no. comparable? Like, that's, no, that's what I, like, I want to, like... I want to, like... Are no, they the comparable? Better. No, framework's better. Yeah, that's for it. you, the adult man. Who is this better for? A 10-year-old. I would disagree. 
well, a five-year-old. I would disagree. <laughs> Matt, you cannot, with any kind of straight face, defend this thing. I can't defend this thing. I can't do it. Let us know how this is a piece of garbage in the comments. Like, subscribe, follow, and check us out in the next one. Yeah, where Matt will clickbait us both once again. I clickbaited you all!